Never have to use it. Trust a tourist advertisement. Get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert, Throgmorton is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. 
Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I made a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. Hey, knock it off! is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed.
Nothing with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? I can't catch a mackerel since those Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. Do you like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Do you like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth or ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damned city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. 
Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Tame. Did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Mr. Throgmorton, I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? I've said everything I know. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them.
look at this man and being damaged. I clearly well cared, cared for him. Let's see what you would find. Come, come, come. We take two trips from this SF to this thing. This thing. A long time to see us go like this. this. this There's a very serious fight here. here. It's some trash fight to the way.
Thank <laughs> you. 
very, very low level. I ain't even in many days.
Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. So it was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. I know if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I've got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we... We were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary had gone to the sea. Oh, I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throgmorton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, I can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. But you pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? The media covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. What kind of... Uh, why do you, you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just I've never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here. So you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. I don't know what to say. I was it like myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. P people here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. That hunters Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the, the Throgmortons. Right, but those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly dry. I need 
some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to reduce your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started, and my lips are sealed. I know you understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. I've encountered something, uh... Of course. I don't uh, have all day. Some, uh, unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them. 
but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I like that first hand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can, keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throckmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement from nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things probably in the back alleys. They tore him apart. It was that in his mouth of fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood and may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and a scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Let's ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Robert Morton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, I've earned it. Kill it, think a newcomer barely off the boat. Solves a crime the police couldn't, but, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throckmorton. I see things, visions. And I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here. Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness are the same source as a barb so below. So I send men to find out. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many oak monsters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Warlog ruins with unnatural architecture. The sleeping giants run around streets. And a voice calling from the depths. No words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Mention the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster? We weren't here to aid. What happened? It defied scientific explanation. Did Mr. Expedition found anything? I do not know. But Albert is. Albert was part of it. This passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. And that's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. But do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research and I left all preparations to Professor Doe and... When you're finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course...
Ross. You've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills.